Hey folks, welcome to the second video in the RSS Feed Parser tutorial series. In this video, we'll be getting started with Feed Parser. We'll be basically starting out by installing the Feed Parser module followed by passing in news website and understanding basically how the RSS Feed Parser works. After doing the basics, we'll be moving on to how to pass a website where we'll be starting out by understanding the structure of the website and then we'll be passing the website by say getting the titles of the first article on the website. So by the end of this video, you'll have feed parser installed on your computers followed by understanding how the feed parser works and interacting with the website by getting the structure of the website followed by some details from the website. So basically before we get into the depth of what feed parser is and how to get started with it, the first step would be installing feed parser on your computer. To install feed parser, basically I have a MacBook, so I'm going to be opening my terminal, but it's going to be the same if you have a windows. So I'm just going to, you just have to go ahead and do a pip install feed parser. Click on enter. Since I already have this installed on my laptop, it's going to be showing me that the feed parser is on uh, the requirement is already satisfied. But when, if you, if you're using feed parser for the first time, it's going to be showing you a lot of details. So well, one second, we're going to be going through what feed parser is. If, if you missed out the first introductory video, don't worry, I'll be explaining it to you right now. So what is RSS feed parser? RSS feed parser is a rich site summary. It is a format for delivering regularly changing web content. Many news websites, web blogs, and online, pub online publishers syndicate the content through the RSS feed, whoever it wants. In Python, we take the help of the feed parser package to read and process these feeds. And that's where the feed parser module comes in and that's what we've installed here. So uh, in this entire series, we'll be building an feed parser. We'll be doing it for medium. We'll be doing some advanced feed parsing using the date time module and more. So, okay. So I'll be displaying one screenshot here. That is going to be the end. Uh, this is what you're going to be seeing at the end of this video to just give you a rough idea of what we're going to be doing. Right. So let's just get started. So basically, before we build a entire big feed parser, we need to maybe just take baby steps and take simple steps to um, understand what the feed parser does and how it interacts with the website and gets the data. So we're going to be getting the structure of the website. So I'm just going to close this and I'm going to go here. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is importing the feed parser module, right? So this is the first step. Then I'm going to be declaring the URL that we're going to be using. I'll be leaving this URL. I'll be leaving the GitHub link in the description. You can check that out. So this is the link that we're going to be using. This is a Times of India website that is there. And if I copy this and I open a new Chrome tab, open new tab and I paste this here. This is what the website is going to look right. So this contains all the, all the news articles that are there, right? So this might currently look very overwhelming to you, but we're going to be breaking this down and understanding what it is. So we're going to move forward and um, right. So now I'm going to be going ahead and the first step whenever you have a website is going to be passing it. So we're going to be creating a new variable called news feed inside which I'm going to be doing feed parser dot parse. And inside this, I'm going to be passing the URL variable here. Right. So there we have passed the website here using the feed parser dot parse function. And inside that we have passed the URL variable as a parameter. So now that we have passed the website, it's time to get to know the structure of the website. So for that we're going to be getting the entries. So I'm going to be creating a new variable called entry and I'm going to be inside this. I'm going to do news feed dot entries and inside this I'm going to passing zero as a parameter. So the reason why I'm passing zero is I just want to get the keys or to get the details and the structure of the first blog on the website. I don't want to interact with all of them. After this, I'm going to be doing print entry dot keys. Right. I'm just going to go ahead and click on save. I'm going to open a new terminal here and I'm going to do Python three video one, one dot py. And here you can see inside the dictionary keys, you can see there is a title for the website. There's a title detail. There's a summary. There's a summary detail. There's a, there are links for the website. There is a link. There is an ID, the date of publish and the publish pass. So these are basically the structure of the articles that are there inside the website. So after this, we're going to, we're going to move forward. And now that we have understood the structure, it's time to get the title of the posts, right? So the code above is going to be remaining the same. I'm just going to comment this print statement out and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be printing the title of the post. So printing the title of the post is going to be post title. 
and after this is going to be a very interesting one so after this i'm going to be doing entry dot title right so this is getting the first art i mean the first blocks title so i'm going to just clear this run this you can see post title this is the first article that is there on the website and if i go ahead and i check that out i'm just going to open just going to open a new chrome tab inside which I'm going to be pasting this link. You can see that the first article that is there on the website is this. So it is, this is the first blog that is there on the website. Here we saw that the post title has successfully come in. Let's just go ahead and maybe print the link of the blog of the specific article that is there. So I'm going to make another print statement here. I'm going to do print. I'm going to do post link and inside of this i'm going to be doing entry dot link click on save let me clear this click on enter here you can see the link has come in and if i just if i just copy this link and i open the chrome tab and i just paste this link here you can see this is the first article that has come in and it matches the title that we just printed here so this is all for this video i hope you have understood basically what feed parser is and how it works and um, yeah this is all for the video i hope you have understood how to install and get basic details out of a website using the rss feed parser and python in the next um, video we're going to be uh, building a feed parser for medium and we're going to be getting the blog posts of your favorite medium bloggers using python and the feed parser module if you like this video then don't forget to like share and for more content hit the subscribe button i'll see you in the next one <music>